All right, so uh, we're doing something a bit different today, taking a look at the Corsair Obsidian 800D case. Uh, now, this isn't the official review. That's going to be coming out in about a week, but we wanted to do sort of a uh, preview sneak peek for you. Um, so without further ado, let's, uh, yeah, let's take a look. All right, so the first thing you're going to notice with this case, as you probably saw with the, with the box there, is this thing is big. Uh, we have a motherboard box here, and you're looking at at least double the size high and then double the size wide. Um, it is not small. It's made out of mostly steel. Uh, the front has an aluminum front bezel, um, which you'll see in a sec. Uh, the, side is, the side and interior is steel, so it's big, it's heavy, but it looks pretty cool. Starting off at the top, we have our front panel ports with four USB, uh, firewire, audio, and microphone jacks, as well as a reset switch. Uh, off to the side, there's the start button with LEDs. Um, and then moving down, there's one, two, three, four, five external front ports, and right sort of in the middle at the bottom there, um, you have one of the standout features of the case, which is a hot swappable uh, drive tray. Um, there's actually four of them at the front. Basically what you do is you're gonna be able to pull out the drive tray. Um, now it is, does require screws. It isn't a screwless design, so you're stuck having to screw your drives in. Um, but you're gonna pop it in, uh, you'll be able to slide it back in, and it's uh, SATA hot swappable. So you have instant access uh, to the hard drives. Moving the case over to the side, we have a rather large side window. It's not just square, it's got a little bit of a curve to it, so a bit of a design. Uh, you'll also see that it is raised up with its feet, um, so there is room for airflow underneath. Uh, rotating around to the back here, what we have is uh, space for air intake. You have a couple of buttons here, which we'll show you in a sec. Water cooling holes, 120 mil fan I.O. area, uh, seven PCI slots, and space for the bottom mounted power supply. Uh, there is also an air intake on the side here um, for air to get in the back. Uh, the back is completely clear and then we're around in the front. Now just focusing in on the back, one of the coolest things about this case is how easy it is to open. What you do is you push this button down, you're going to pull out and then pull off. Now the first thing that you really notice about this case when you open it up is how everything is black. Um, they've even gone so far as to make the fan, the fan cables and headers uh, black as well, so they want to keep a uniform look to it. As we zoom into the motherboard tray, you'll notice a rather large space in the tray. Um, that is because this tray accepts ATX, MATX, and EATX motherboards, and that is the CPU backplate opening for all of those form factors. What you'll also notice is that there are rubberized uh, holes in the tray for all those sizes um, in order to run cables from the from the back of the case out to the front and onto the motherboard. At the front of the case, we have a toolless external drive bay. Um, and then moving down, we have a 140 millimeter fan on the side of the hard drive area. This is in the back here is where the hot swappable module is going to go. Um, and then down below, even below that, in the bottom chamber, uh, there is room for another three hard drives to sit, as well as a hundred, another 120 millimeter fan, I believe. And then right down at the bottom is where the power supply is going to sit. There's definitely enough room for extended power supplies, like say the Corsair uh, 1000 watt series. Um, the other thing you'll notice is that there's water cooling hole tubes uh, right here in the in the divider. Um, that means that you're able you're going to be able to put a pump right down at the bottom here, run it up to the other components up top. All right, we're going to take a quick look at the accessories, which, uh, as you can see, I've already opened. I don't want any surprises. Um, so what we have here is basically the usual assortment of screws and uh, zap straps, a 120 mil fan vibration dampener for a bottom fan. Uh, there's also some drive rails, um, and this is going to be a disappointment, unfortunately, to a lot of people. Um, we had mentioned earlier about the hot swappable capabilities of the of the Corsair uh, with that front mounted rack style system um, and here's your hot swappable um, module basically what it is is a quadruple uh, is a quadruple power connector um, which you're going to have to connect and four SATA cables so it's not actually a physical module that you're going to be able to slide in and then slide out uh, you're still going to have to go inside the case install this onto your drives and then install SATA cables um, onto the drives as well. The other thing that Corsair has done is that they've set this up for water cooling. Um, what you have at the top here is one, two, 320 mil fan spacing uh, for 120 mil rad. You can either you can install the fans on the top. Um, the other thing you can do is because there is enough space uh, between the tray and the, uh, and the top there, you can actually install a triple radiator inside of the case if you wanted to and have the air blowing out. Uh, install the fans on the top, radiator on the top, however, whichever way you want to do it. All right, and uh, so that there is our quick look at the Corsair Obsidian 800D. Uh, it should be hitting shelves relatively shortly. Don't forget, uh, the official Hardware Canucks review is going to be coming out on that in a couple of weeks. So check the YouTube channel and be sure to check the website for updates. We'll see you then.